Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to take a look at the another back of gun for you guys, but this time we have one of the Generation 2 line. I'm actually pretty excited for this. So, I went to my local Ollie's today and looking around to see what I got and what they have, and I'm actually pretty surprised about it. So, the back of gun I'm going to take a look is this right here. Just going to move the camera a little bit more and move this back a little bit for the thumbnail there we go focus on it there we go so the today review i'm going to take a look is the back of gun armor alliance this one we have here is aquas arless ultra feral x Geltor starter pack now before we continue on you guys do me a little bit of quick favor so i'll be right back hey you stop what you're doing like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell and enjoy your day so this one right here is cost me right around ten dollars and you can see the price of it right here now this said now i've actually wanted to get this because this is actually one of my favorite looks of this back gun because the metallic boot one they use so and yeah now this set now this 30 pack is going to come with also chaos pyrus gargano x webm and darkest aquas hydronaut x crocilios and of course, every starter pack comes with three Bakugan, one Ultra, two cores, um, six Baku core, three character card, three ability cards, and one gate card, and of course, everything right here. But this one is the international packaging because I will show it in the back. But first, you can see the artwork of these three characters right up there, looking fascinating as hell. And do you guys even remember this packaging right here? And the reason why I'm saying this is the international packaging because you can see it right here. And... The cost and difficulty for this back on the Ultra Feral X Skeletor is a level 2, so yeah. Alright, I'm going to go pause the video, open it up, show you guys the cores, the cards, and the back of gun, and let's begin. Alright, good, we got everything out, so the stuff that we actually don't give a rest has about is the rule book that how you play it. This is the, of course, the international packaging, and of course, this is for the gate card gameplay thing, and this bunch of languages nobody's even care about also one more thing i haven't even opened this kind of packaging for a long time and this is actually came up perfectly well also dual faction so yay and i may not sure what kind of check what uh, version of checklist is this right here but if you guys remember this for nostalgia purposes only this is what it looks like and you can see right here you got the ultra and the cores right there of course and there's the Pharaoh right there, and yeah, and also the All Faction and the Fusion Faction right there, and the, uh, yeah. Alright, uh, cores it comes with, not the cores, it, what comes with is right here, so we got a shield, plus 100 bees, another shield, plus 200 bees of your fusion, plus 200 bees, so that's actually good. Another shield, 250 AB. Fist, Fusion, 5 damage, Helix, Fusion, plus 3, 300 Bs, and 2 Frost Strikes, oh my god, okay, what kind of selection is this, and another shield, I, focus on a stupid camera, Aqua's Darkest, plus 400 B. okay, this selection is kind of cracked, to be honest with you, what the hell kind of selection of cores is this right there? Someone explain to me in the comment section. Don't ask. Don't ask how, why this is cracked, but explain to me, like, why this thing is cracked as hell. Unfortunately, I already have this gate card, so I'm about to get rid of this, or I think I do have it. I might have to check my collection. But you guys, you can see it. There's Hogwarts X Ramparian, if I can remember. Pyrus, 100. Aquas, 400. Dark uh, Ventus, 200. Ah, uh, Chaos. Zero, Arl is 300 and 500 for Darkest, and you got the fusion ability right there. Now we have some of the, here we have the character cards so you guys can see. For the normal version, Darkest, Hydrona, S, Kirkilios, right here you can see Darkest, Hydrona, and Aquas, Kirkilio, Shields, and a Helix, 500 Breeze, and 4 damage, but cost of energy about 4. I mean, an eight to fuse and fusing together. Here it is right there, and here's the stats of it. 
And I actually do like this kind of do like the artwork of this guy right here. Now if you fusion up, now you get five, you get fifteen hundreds and twelve damage. That's actually pretty good. Here we have Arlis Feral and Ultra Giltor right there. You can see Arlis Feral, Feral and Aquas Giltor. Green Edge Shield and a Green Fist. Six hundred Bs, five damage. Cause of energy to fuse is seven right there. Flip it. And oh my god, this artwork is actually pretty cool. You get 1200 bees, 9 damage, and the ability for this one is 3 frost strikes, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, this, this is actually a good artwork for this one right here. The last character card we have is Chaos, Gargonoid, and Weapon right here. You can see Pyrus, Gargonoid, and Chaos, Weapon right here, double shield, 700 bees, 3 damage. Cost and energy to fuse is... Nine. I think the cost of an all of them is actually too much, to be honest with you. Just my opinion. And for fusing, eighteen hundred bees, five damage, and the ability five frost strike. Damn, that is crazy ass. And the cards we have is darkest dread. Cost of energy of two plus one hundred bees plus one damage plus you draw one card. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. You can see Shun with Pyrus, Darkest, Garganoid, X, Weapon right here. So that's actually good. Not, I mean, not good. I don't want to even talk. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Big Ape Punch. Cost of damage is a 4. And plus 8 damage. And the last card we have is Improvised Armor. Cost of energy is 3. Plus 2 damage. Plus. And draw 2 cards. And you can see... The original colors for this guy right there. So yeah. Alright. Enough about it. Let's actually take a look over the back of gun right here. So let's bring the camera down just for a little bit right here. Well, the tripod legs for it right there. Um, I don't remember what I started off with. But I'm gonna actually going to want to start off by taking this look of this guy. Orless. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention also the instruction for it's right there. So I might need it for this. So we have Aquas, Aurelis, Ultra, Feral X, Skeletor right there. Right off the bat, the painting and the sculpting the detail of this back of God looks pretty cool. Now they use the body, they use the same body again with this color, but for the fusion part, it's just the legs and the tail part. Is nothing special going on there. So they also did the same thing for the Pyrus and the, I think if I can remember, the, 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 did they even release a darkest one? Yeah, they did. And there was supposed to be a diamond one, but I think the diamond one got cancelled. So yeah. It looks good to be honest with you. Like, you can see the wings right there, but I wish the wings from the inside was painted. Because outside, you can see it's painted in and this is metallic gold. The symbols right here for Arliss and Aquas are right there. You guys, if you guys remember this nostalgic moment right there the magnet is right over here and it doesn't have any manual parts to be honest with you some back of gear parts on two sides of the legs right here in the front and i guess that pretty much does it they don't, they don't see any other one the b power is at the tail right there if you can oops if i can uh 600 bs pretty good to be honest with you and i actually do like it a lot so closing them up Ooh. Starting off by doing this first. And you gotta hold it. Next is bring the front legs like that. Close up the wings like that so far. Now make sure you gotta hold the wings. Bring the feet up. Back. Sorry. Bring this whole piece right there. And you wanna bring the tail like this? No, no, no. Something's not right. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Then you, I think you gotta wrap it the, like all of this. Then you wanna close it, and that's how it is. To be honest with you, ball form. To be honest, it looks good. But I wish to get add more of this metallic blue. These two tone of the metallic blue. It's probably somewhere one here in this side. Of course, I'm getting the other side, and some a little bit over here, I guess. It's just my opinion. Now, I haven't did one for a long time using the core, because, of course, I'm always using with a gate card. But, let's roll it. Let's see how to open it up in action. And that was a terrible shot. And this is the reason why people... 
Okay. Well, it just land. It just flopped like that. Well, let's do it one more time, but this time we're going to use a gate card. So I'm going to put the gate card right up here for now. And let's do it one more time. I think this is actually one of my favorite molds, to be honest with you. And this is actually the first time owning this one. Shit, come on. There we go. Now let's roll it with the gate card. You fucking dick. Why? Yeah. So that pretty much is for this 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 boy right here. All right, let's take a look over at Chaos Pyrus. Oh, this name of this fucker is Chaos Pyrus Garganoid X Webum. <sighs> it's actually pretty good to be honest with you. I like the looks of it. Now, I don't know why they got given the green of it. I know the Pyrus Bakugan for Armor Alliance and, of course, the rest for the G2 Bakugan has green on it. But I don't know why. It's kind of a bit off for me, to be honest with you. It's just my opinion. The Pyrus and Chaos symbol right here are printed in. So that's actually pretty good. There's a Bakugan port here, one here, and one here also. And, of course, the arrow is pointing this way. They used uh, a different shade of like a red right here. This one will look like a maroon or crimson red, to be honest with you. I'm not sure what kind of type of color, uh, type of red it is. So let's op we'll open them up. Come on. Ooh, that, okay, that looks actually pretty good. Now, let's see. Does this guy have any manual parts? He does have some manual part. I was like, does this jackass have some manual part? It's a bit stiff to be honest with you, but look like it's the arms that you can fold down. But be very careful not to break it. And I don't know, it's the same thing like the rest of this mold right here or something. Mm. Shit. I don't want to... I'm trying to be careful not to break this thing. Oh my god, that's actually way too stiff, to be honest with you. I don't know if this is in my copy, or it's the same thing like every mold on this guy right here, but yeah. So here it is. Open it up, and... It looks kind of bit of meh, to be honest with you. I wish I could add some more painting down here, to be honest with you. It looks okay, I guess. You can see the head scope right here. Looks okay. Just get a bit eh, to be honest with you. It's kind of funny. He has like a giant shoulder pad of an arm. It's just a oh, look at me. I'm so cute. Psych, bitch. Uh, here's the B power right there. 700B, so yeah. And let's see. Close it up. Of course, you need to fold the arms back in, which is so stiff. I don't know why. Mm, okay. Okay, so I guess bring the legs together, bring this here, bring that here, and okay, let's try it again. Come on. There you go. Hmm. Closing them up is a bit tricky to be honest with you, but also folding out the arms. Very difficult to do. I think this back of gun is okay, but uh, like I said, this is a, a four-year-old set right there. This, the Armor Alliance was released there in 2020. So yeah, but fucking hell, why is it so hard to come out? I do have a bit of a problem, to be honest with you, which is kind of the arms, of course, like I said, is stiff, but it doesn't have any paint to it, on it, to be honest with you, and I wish... Before I go show off the last one right here, I wish they could add some, a little bit more paint. Just my opinion, and that's it. Alright, last back again we have is Darkest Aquas, Hydrogen X, Kirkelios, and oh my god, this actually looks pretty good. I think the Darkest one, the Darkest Aquas together looks fascinating. Now, the looks of it with the green, purple, blue, and the light blue right there actually looks great. You got the Darkest and the Aqua symbol right here on the head. But the end of the heads right there and there. These two looks actually great together. It doesn't the arrows are up there? There's three Bakugir ports, one there, one there, one there. 
And this actually looks fascinating just by looking at the details of it right here. I actually do like it. Alright, let's open it up. Ooh, look at this. Why is the eyes not even painted? See that out of 10. No, I'm serious though. Okay, the eyes are actually not kind of painted to be honest with you. A bit of disappointing, but the looks and the details of this guy right there looks so amazing. Like, just look at the details of the head right there. Sculpted very well. And the other two of them moves, but not the other two. Pretty sad to be honest with you. B power is right right here, 500 Bs, and you can see just everything right here, the front of it, you guys can see, it's just the tentacles. It looks pretty good. <laughs> I am so stupid. Um, because it closes it and I'm, uh, bring all of this together right here, I think. So let's see, bring this here, bring this here, close these two together. Bring close the two heads, and you just... Okay, let's do it one more time. Close it. Fold it in. Hold this. And you just bring... Ooh, that is beautiful. I actually do like this a lot. So yeah. Now let's bring all these three together. And let's just flip every card for the fusion version for the final results right there there we go overall this set is actually pretty good i actually do recommend it to have this in your collection if you guys are messing out on this guy he the uh, this back gun right there is still available on amazon if you guys want to get it this set is, looks pretty good but the main gripe I have is I wish they could add some paint to the wings and a little bit more on the ball form. I wish they could paint the eyes and the teeth on open and the monster form like this. And I wish the arms wasn't is not stiff and I wish they had some more paint to it. Just my opinion. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end this right here. So have fun, so safe, and I'm always, I'm out.